Good. Pitch on the right side. Yes, Tech and bleeding stop with the just a portion. Trouble breathing. Time to come breathing. My laceration cross right arm and face. All right, saving lots of benefits. Well, one of the things we got to demonstrate today was not only the fire maneuver and shock effect capability of a combined arms company like ourselves inside of a battalion, inside of our uh, third brigade, third ID. We're able to bring in assets outside of that unit as well, especially including with our, our JTACs, controlling our fixed wing assets. We're able to have rotary ring assets come in, come in from outside this brigade and also demonstrate several key vehicles we have here, our Bradley fighting vehicle, our assault breaching vehicle, the M1 Abrams tank, uh, and show how when those vehicles, when that combat power is synchronized, that's the effects we can get. Breaching is one of the most dangerous operations an Army unit can do, and it requires several key elements. One, we absolutely have to have suppression. We have to have obscuration. We have to have security. We have to have reduction, and we have to have a violent assault. So we use several vehicles. Uh, historically, we've used many different vehicles to conduct the breach. Here, we're able to utilize the assault breaching vehicle, and it can fill several key roles for us. So what we tend to what we want to do is what we did today. We provide suppression with our indirect fires. We provide that with our tank main gun rounds, our Bradley 25 millimeter, our machine guns as well. We obscure with smoke. Today that was delivered with field artillery. Uh, we had that capability with mortar rounds as well. And even our own tracks can provide their own smoke for obscuration. We also have to have, uh, and of course suppression also includes our 155 millimeter field artillery and our 120 millimeter mortar rounds as well. So if we can synchronize all those assets, mix in some rotary wing, mixed in some fixed wing aircraft, we can conduct a successful breach with the fewest amount of casualties possible. In the profession of arms, the weapons always change. This brotherhood does not. You know, we can call it a brotherhood, a sisterhood. This family of war fighting doesn't change. So what we saw today was a synchronization of soldiers, a synchronization of war fighters. Whether we're on this equipment here, whether they were in the sky, we can see that synchronization and they came together to deliver a tremendous amount of combat power on the battlefield. Uh, soldiers did a fantastic job today. Uh, what we saw out here was a payoff of hours and hours and hours of rehearsals at the brigade level, the battalion level, the company level, and the platoon level. And so we really got to see how we can take, you know, plan an operation this big, bring that down to the individual soldiers. We saw their motivation out there today. I heard them on the net. We saw the professionalism, and they executed. They did an outstanding mission. So it was a great success for us, all the way from our lowest private up to the, you know, the full colonel we have in command of our brigade.
And I think the key aspect to take away from it was, was our ability uh, to demonstrate a combined arms maneuver live fire for our Kuwaiti counterparts uh, that we partner with on a daily basis. And what made today unique was doing a joint air attack team with the Air Force, with 35th Cav Attack Aviation Brigade, as well as elements of 115 Infantry. Putting all those again into a live fire experience uh, that I know our counterparts won't forget, but definitely our soldiers uh, have that experience that they can put in their kit bag now uh, as they move throughout their career. They're going to walk away with the ability to see that all of their training that we've done, from individual all the way to collective, has made into this culminating event for them, so to speak, where they were able to integrate every war fighting function and they were able to witness it and do it very successfully. And I think soldiers that, that walk away from this experience today have a, have a solid, great memory of what happened out here on Udari Range Complex. And, but we don't have the ability to maneuver like this at Fort Benning.